Yo, another evening. Next brawl precon, we're gonna do Adelie's the Cinder Wind. Angry Wizards. Yeah. Now, your prices may vary. You can't really see this. I'm in the way. Let's see. Does this work? As you can see, my Adelie's deck is 10 gems as marked down from 10,312 gems. Why? Pro ideally, like, I, I believe it is because I already own all, uh, most of these cards. But you know what's better than 10 gems? Zero. So I went to Moxfield and I have exported the Adelie's The Cinderwind Arena Precon deck list. Now let's see what this 10 gems was for, shall we? By going over here and import. And, oh, it does look like a card's missing. A card is missing. Let's get in here. Oh, I, I, I'm back. I'm here. The card missing is, what would I have paid 10 gems for? The card missing is Accident Prone Apprentice. This is a one and a red for a one, one alchemy card. It has an adventure until end of turn target creature loses all ability and becomes a frog. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, perpetual plus one plus one. An alchemy uncommon is what they wanted to charge me 10 gems for. Now, I have many gems. I'm doing fine. But I, I bring this up because you might not want to spend 10 gems on an alchemy card. So if that's you, well, look at my wild cards here. I have 132 uncommon wild cards. Let's just craft this uncommon wild card and voila. Also, conceivably you could pull a card out and add a card in. So that is why you go on Moxfield, which, you know, sponsor of the channel, so love them. You search for Adelie's The Cinderwind Brawl deck, and then you check what card you're actually missing by importing it and decide whether or not to spend any gems in the store. We're gonna apply styles, and we are gonna play this deck right out of the box. No changes, not gonna go in and fiddle, although of course I have many ideas of the kind of cards that you should add to this deck to make it better, but we're gonna play it right out of the box and see how it goes, how does it stack up. Zada was off to a slow start last time. We're gonna see if this one does better. I will say this, I like the curve. Look how low this curve is. That's the curve of a deck that can compete, even if some of the cards are a little sus. When we go in here, we have 22 one drops, 23 two drops, 11 three drops. Amazing, we have 40 lands. That may be too much. We're gonna find out, we're gonna find out. I mean, I'm all about not missing your land drops in this format, it's huge, but like 40 lands in a deck with that curve. Remind me to mulligan anything with four or more lands. Let's dive in. Let the cinder wind nonsense of Brawl begin. Look, I don't need it to be a work of art. I don't need it to be perfect. I would love for it to be better than Zada. Zada, Zada feels like the worst of MTG in some ways. It's either I get to do my thing uninterrupted or I don't. Win or lose. Yes or no. And I like my magic a little more complicated. So what we got here? Rush of Inspiration. Oh, good. We have an MDFC to go with our 40 lands. You might get a sense of where I'm going right now. Essence Scatter counters a creature like a Voja, which is a terrifying beastie. And then we got Kaza Royal Chaser. This return target creature and opponent controls to owner's hand if you kick it. I mean, I will try Kaza here. The next instant or sorcery costing less seems all right. Let's give this a go. I d it is kind of a four lander. Rush of Inspiration isn't exactly a four lander. By the way, if you haven't read our commander, 2-2 two, two flying haste whenever you cast an instant or sorcery. Wizards! You control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. It's got a little bit of blue counter spell. It's got a little bit of red burn, but it's a type of wizard deck. It's faster and more aggressive than you expect. So, I don't know. The redness I hate, the blueness I love. You gonna use that? It sure are. Uh, 
Uh-huh. Commercial district. Sure. Let's surveil as well. Do you get enough value out of your one mana play? Hopefully we beat the hell out of them for it. Here's Kaza Royal Chaser and an attack. If it comes down to one missing life point, we got him. Priest of Titania can make a lot of mana, but not enough to cast Voja next turn, probably. Oh god, we drew the card. Dark creature loses all abilities and becomes a frog. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, perpetual plus one plus one, this ability also triggers if this card is in exile, huh? Tap. The next instant or sorcery you cast costs X less. You know what? Aggression. At any cost. Just play the cards and beat down. Being able to cast one side of this for just a single blue and maybe counter something as well could be a good turn. Rush of inspiration. This all involves tapping the Kaza. Get a reduction. I wish this card had vigilance. It's the biggest problem with this little critter. Okay, that's an elf. So many elves. So this now taps for two, three, and there's a cultivate. Wee! However, next upkeep, maybe I will make this thing be frog. Ooh, Niv? So far away from casting Niv. That's crazy. Is this a tapped rush of inspiration? And then on their turn, use this card? Maybe? I wish this, this card's not very good, is it? It's very slow. It's very slow. Rush of inspiration. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if this is going to be a game where Niv does the thing. But it's worth a try, right? Because if we essence, if we stall long enough. This doesn't stall, though. They're going to have the mana for Vosha next turn. We're really going to want to scatter. I think we just want to play this. Ah, man, I don't have any spells I can really cast that work well here. I think I just want to play this and use the essence scatter and get some more damage. I know, I'm thinking pretty hard, but it's hard to beat Voja. I think I, I think I deserve it a little. And they're hitting all their lands. Of course, Cultivate helps with that a lot. There's a Beast Whisperer. I think I can stall them. Well, can I? If I target this, Maybe it throws them off. Frog? They can tap it for mana now, but I'm guessing they needed one more and that's why they played the Beast Whisperer. But let's see, they don't have enough now to play Voja. That was the idea. They have another creature to play though. Ooh, Planeswalker. That just makes a wolf, though, yeah? Card you don't see all the time. Malevolent Hermit. That's not the draw, man. That is so not the draw. Alright, I'm gonna do this. As we try to get there, I need some good cards in my hand. If you discard this essence scatter, I might have a combustion. Okay. Okay, okay. This is a minus to deal three damage to any target, so I guess we have to kill it. But we are losing bad. Our opponent's generating way too much mana. We're doing so close to nothing, it's kind of sad. But they're at 11, so if we draw a burn spell, we have a real chance. I mean, look at this mana. It's insane, okay? I mean, they are really avoiding casting their commander. So they have all this mana. But will they be able to leverage it? They want to play a Marari's Wake, okay. Um, still doesn't stop the creatures that are up here in the air trying to kill them. Like, they're just avoiding playing their commander entirely. It's pretty obvious what I'm doing, to be fair. 
And now we will show them. But man, do I need to draw spells here. This is... This is so bad. At least if they play Voja next turn, they can't attack with it the same turn. So... If, oh, jeez, that's not a spell. That's not even close to good. You think they just might not block if I attack here? I think we risk it, right? We have to. Yeah, okay. Got me there. Look. My hand is terrible. <laughs> and there's almost nothing I can do. There's no instants or sorceries in my deck. We've only drawn a reactive one, and we cast the Rush of Inspiration, and it didn't matter. This has been really bad, and it's definitely exposing the deck for no good spells, at least at this point. I mean, we could still top deck the win, but I'm pretty sure they'll use Domri to fight one of our creatures, and then we have to draw multiple card draw spells in a row while they have no answer to the flyers that is definitely game because they're going to gain all that life and draw all those cards that was bad i have thoughts and that was really bad now is that normal let's go back and look at the spell count because that was depressingly bad um non-creatures 31 how many are instants and sorceries? 23 and 7, 30. 30, 28 creatures. And look at all the, these non-wizards. There's 28 wi oh, actually they're all wizards, Never mind. I was looking at human? 28 creatures, 30 instants and sorceries. Sure. Okay, doesn't seem as bad as that felt. That felt disgusting. But 40 lands. You really want as many instants. You want your instant sorcery count to match, like, your land count at least. Especially since they can draw cards. I don't know, man. That was a dirty game. Ooh, you get Symmetry Sage. Symmetry Sage, good card. We're up against Smeagol on the draw. This has two toughness. Is it, is it charmed? Does two damage. And we have Lightning Bolt. Let's go Sage. Now we have Baral in here. But Baral doesn't reduce the cost of any of these. That's another cost reducer with nothing to really do with a cost reduction. It's kind of frustrating. Not gonna lie. Take zero. Sure. Now die. I guess I can do it on my turn, yeah? We are choked on red mana, but I can play the brawl instead. Okay. Who knows? Might draw a red source? Nope. No such luck. Brawl? We got something. They have Flare of Malice. So that's going to kill the Brawl. Okay. Can't stop it. At least I still get three damage, and I traded one of my cost reducers. That wasn't going to do anything because there was nothing to reduce the cost of. I don't know, man. That's a good draw. It's a counter spell. Of course, I like it. I'll play this Electromancer and pass. And wait for some proactive cards. That's a tutor, so we're gonna counter that. But you see, we don't get to attack there. Kinda sucks.
Yeah, I need proactive spells. I need some Zada in here. Where's my monstrous rage? Moon Druid. The 2-2. Two -two. Seeks a land. I guess. Well, let's wait till our turn so we get the buffs. Ooh, Harmonic Prodigy. That's one of the best ones. The additional triggers, baby. So, bang. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Trigger. Yeah, that's how you do it. 17, 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17. You cause a trigger. Bam! See? A couple spells go a long way. It's just best when they're like really versatile, right? You can play them both ways so that you can be offense or defense. And at the same time, you want them to be cheap spells, which is asking a lot. Makes me wonder if this is a deck that wants, like, if they're, or if they're too expensive. Cards like Confounding Riddle, Supreme Will, Prismari Command. Three mana cards that can get their cost reduced by some of these wizards. To be cheaper than that, that can be proactive or reactive. All right, like Grella. Pretty annoying deck to go against. We have the Prodigy. We have the Balmore. Brainstorm is our only spell. And then what the hell is this? A giant wizard or spell you control dealt damage this turn. Draw a card. Uh, okay. And it's a lot of creatures. No answer to the Lagrella. And then they're going to open with a cheating card once upon a time. Pure Hex. We know they have Aether Channeler. They have a Mana Dork. Okay, yeah, game over. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> All right, Soul Scar Mage. What does this do? Flying Haste whenever you cast, plus two, plus O. Oh. Also works with wizard spells. Okay, too many creatures. Please calm down. Ball more. Probably get something bounced here by the Chandler or exiled by the Lagrella, but probably bounced by the Chandler because they want to set up their Lagrella. If I miss this land drop, it's game over. Okay. Another tap land though. That's really bad. I guess we want to try to keep things on the board. The problem is that the Lagrella loop is already here. Maybe they want to trade. Okay, well, they didn't get to exile that with Lagrella. Probably our best chance. Okay, they play that. Teleportation circle online. How do we get more damage in? This has haste. Cool. Big triggers. There's a monstrous rage. Okay, it's not that we don't run them. Just that we don't really prioritize them. Let's put away the more expensive cards. One of these we're gonna draw next turn. I guess I'm gonna make it. No, they're too slow. They're so slow. And then the other will probably go to our hand again with the iteration, but we'll see. ECD target the mystic. Okay, well, at least we're getting time here. Maybe not. Maybe they have a one mana play. Nope, just archiving. So next turn our spells cost more, so we want to get our spells out here. Per, uh, haste? Haste good.
The land we want to play. The Leer I think we want in hand. There's too many creatures. The balance is hard to strike. Since the Elspeth Conqueror's death is going off, we really just want to hit as hard as we can here. Give ourselves a good chance. Because things are going to cost extra next turn. Okay. That isn't that good, right? We just go over the top? Oh, I see. Yeah, they get to do this. What do we do now? Lose? They're at six? How do we get enough damage in? guess we play... No, we don't have the right mana. <sighs> Looks like that's game over. To four, they're gonna get this. God, that's painful. Obviously, the Leer won't get it done. We need it, we need multiple threats. I guess I do play the Storm Tamer here, even though I can't use it because the mana is bad. Sure seems out. It sure seems like we're not going to get through this without some help. There are four. Maybe we can draw the right cards, but I'm looking at Agar. This card seems so terrible. Oh, that's two life. That's two life. The power level on these cards is just not good enough. Just not good enough, man. Slow, clunky, awkward needs better spells but that's a very doable thing our upgrade will definitely fix that it's amazing what a few bounce spells might do a few impulses first sliver one of the more busted commanders out there this is another hand all wizards no spells this card is probably getting cut for sure. These cards are not aggressive enough. These cards are pretty good. On the draw, though. Eh, I mean, you gotta have a good one drop, I think. I don't think we can win without one. Okay, we've got so many one drops. But we'll have to draw spells. No spells, no chance. Our opponent already ramping ahead. Reveal Melt Through. Okay, they gave us burn spells in this deck? News to me. We certainly didn't see any. How about lands? Are we going to see lands? We'll see if they have a board wipe for this, or if we get to absolutely clock. We flip Delver on turn two. We can't ask for much more. Well, I guess a, I guess a land to cast this counter spell would be nice. I don't even know if Counterspell goes in this deck. So hard to leave up and the mana is so clunky. Alright, Mythweaver. We got the blue source. It's very real. Next turn, they're probably going to first sliver. Uh, the Counterspell might be huge. As long as this creature is on the battlefield, damage isn't removed. Interesting. You get blocks. Target creature control is base power three. Yeah. So I can do this as prowess. Hawk down. Pass. Hope you get a shock land and I hope it hurts. 
Aw, just the plans. Okay, so here's a fun trick with the first sliver. Let's see what they cascade into and if we want to counter it. Do we want to counter into the north? I don't think so. Honestly, we want to counter this first sliver. Can I race this? Not without spells. We're in the same spot. We don't have any spells. Like, that's too reactive, right? You see how bad this counter spell is here. We're just not doing anything. Look at this Symmetry Sage attacking for zero. It's horrible. Two spells will not do it. And one of them being reactive means it doesn't transfer to damage. Invasion. What'd they get? Nothing that they like, so they scoop. But they didn't have to. We didn't have spells. We couldn't win that next turn unless we top decked. And given what we've drawn so far, it's clear we don't have enough active spells. Not even close, right? We probably need to double the active spells in the deck. Bad. Bad. Like, it's nice that they give you these rares. Well, they don't give you. You buy them, right? But, like, where's the active spells? This is an active spell. This is kind of an active spell. No, oh, this is reactive. This is kind of an active spell, but they're so... Like, sink into stupor is so much better. Like, I don't understand why this is here, especially with 40 other lands. This is a great spell that we haven't drawn. This is a nice spell. This is reactive. This is reactive. This requires a target, so it's kind of reactive. It's an adventure. I mean, you starting to get the picture? Lightning Strike is nice. Thrill is nice. Expressive Iteration is nice. Is It Charm can be nice, but that one's also a mixed bag. Doesn't always have good target. Chilling Trap, sure. Consider. Fading Hope. Opt. Shore Up. Spell Pierce is reactive. Unsummon. Crash through. You see, how many of these also just require a target? Maximize Velocity is a nice one. At least it's two spells in one. Rage. Play. Charge. Shock. So how much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27. 27, a little bit over one out of four cards, which means for our key turn, the one where we want to cast multiple spells and pump everything with Adelies, we should have, in an average game, we could have seen three proactive spells. That isn't as bad as the games have gone so far. So hopefully, hopefully we turn this around a little. We've had below average games and we have one, so that was nice. <laughs> Myth Weaver. Okay, not known for flyers or removal. Put me on the play. This should be easy. We're on the draw. At least we have. This is a fine hand. But they have turn one mana dork, which is already, you know, disastrous. Green is so broken in Brawl, man. The amount of mana dorks they have since, like, bringing in Birds of Paradise, Delighted Halfling, it's stupid. Like, are you kidding right now? So if I pass here, there is a chance the opponent does nothing. And if they do nothing, or at least don't do anything worth countering, we don't achieve much. But at least I get to develop some mana and try to keep Mythweaver Pock off the darn field. All right, I'm just going to counter it. We're, we're kind of priced in. We have to make a play that turn. Jesus. Well, didn't give us much of a chance this game. Let's go Adelies. Hopefully we can draw an untapped land next turn before we lose. 
If we play Prodigy, play Brainstorm, play Maximize Velocity, then we're maybe halfway to victory. And they probably only need one turn with Pock to beat us. We have Fading Hope and we have Unsummon. We haven't drawn either one yet. Those are definitely cards that we need, have chances in some of these games. Now it's possible the opponent just doesn't have a good follow-up, but if they have a big spell here, I don't think I can beat that card if they have any creature and they do. Yeah, Silverback Elder, gaining life, getting lands. Does it have reach? It doesn't. Well, at least they're not playing. If they were playing smart, they'd gain life. At least I think so. That's how I'd do it. So all you have to do is not die and you win this game. Shit, <laughs> they hit Cavern, sure. Charge. A lot of powerful spells. Can they win the game next turn? Not from what they have, and they played out their hand. So it's possible they just whiff off the top and we beat them over two turns. Have this Birds of Paradise that can potentially block. Am I sending the Prodigy? I don't think so. I think I'm just doing this. Ooh, whiffed on land? Oh, that... Oh, that sucks. Oh, no. Okay. Well. Um. When you ain't got it, you ain't got it. By the way, these tap lands are not good in this deck. <laughs> it, is, it is... Oof, oof. They, they keep getting us. All right, did they top a creature? If they topped a creature, I don't know how I'm supposed to win. Invasion of Zendikar, could be worse. Oh, they can turn that into a creature, but this is when you cast a creature spell. Oh, it does cast though. It does cast. I don't know, maybe I can do more than 14. We already know the top of our deck is terrible. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. We are gonna, this gives trample though, right? It actually does. Crazy, this is 15. I wonder why they don't attack here. I guess it just doesn't matter. So they have all this food, right? Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. They should just gain life, they do. Okay, they're, they're big smart now. They have all this food, they have all infinite mana, infinite mana. We need Zada. Triggers. God, one more mana? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? If they're smart, they put every blocker in front of the Harmonic Prodigy first, but I think, I don't think I can get them, but that would be the right play. Just because if they untap, they win. So play to all the outs, right? Maybe we're lucky and they activate Field of Ruin for no reason. Because one more spell, who knows? It might've got there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, don't... Oh? Oh my god, they're doing it. I guess they think it's... Oh no, this is a sorcery! God. <sighs> I guess I should have played to my out there, right? 
That's on me. This is all because they untapped one turn with Myth Weaver Pock. Are you impressed? We're all impressed. They didn't block with anything. So cocky. And they died for it. <laughs> Wait, they died they died at six. If they block with these two, they win. <laughs> okay. That, that's called underestimating your opponent right there. What, did you not think a pre-con could pull that off? Wow. That's <laughs> so stupid. Easy win. Never didn't have it. Dude, nobody plays out brawl games, right? Everybody concedes early, so, like, people don't know how to play the end game. They're just so lazy. But man, this deck will be so good with like some Dreadmaw's Ire, Raise the Effigy type effects. Just a little Zada goes a long way in a deck like this. We have to remember that this card is Reach. Also, as much as I want to, I can't keep this hand because it has four lands. I, this has four lands as well. We're going to rely on Iteration to get the job done. Yep, too many lands, not enough spells, but all things we can fix. So here, I'm just gonna play this and attack. I'm gonna try to drag this out. And I'm gonna try to use the guidance at the right time. Let me have greeters. Don't bounce it because this has reach. Or do we care if it has reach actually? Nah, we still want the triggers from these being on the field. So here, Lear Disciple the Drowned can be a fun card. I don't think this is the right deck. And it's still the alchemy version, which, like, why is this card still alchemy nerfed? It rotated. It is past time that this card be restored to its, like, printed version. But at this point, I don't think Wizards cares. Brawl is kind of a silly format. They know it. They treat it as such. Let's see what we can come up with. Hell of a card right here. Uh, no. Oh my god, no more land. None. Come on. Uh, that's another wizard. Do we want that wizard? It does make for a big turn next turn. I'll take it. Also has haste. This thing is in the way. I might just want an iteration here. They're not gonna block. They're gonna untap, they're gonna cast something huge. Then we need Fading Hope. Or we could just attack and see if they do block and then play Kaza post combat. Ooh, I like it, okay. Yep, they don't wanna block, they're afraid. So we steal that damage, we get this down. And then next turn, we have a potential three speller, which could get the job done. Yeah, that's a good card. So if they are smart, they're gaining life with Gallagher Eaters because they understand this is now a race. Nope, they're going for the counter. I guess they are trying to win the race via beatdown, which is fine. They're wide open in the air. They're at 16 health. They're going to get two lands. We're going to have to beat them. It would be so good to pull a pump spell here, right? Burn spell, pump spell, something like that. I mean, we can make our things so much cheaper and it really doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Iterate. Man, Kaza just ain't it. This goes to hand. This 
is red, so bottom exile. All of these are castable. This is one damage to any target. How fun. I think we can get there. It's enough damage, I think. Bounties. So that's 16. Should be enough. Easy. It's a real wrestling match, though, to have the spells. Like, do we have Consider in here? This, guy, this deck could have Sleight of Hand. Does it even have Opt? I feel like those cards are so important, and yet I'm not sure they're in here. Okay, Tamio. This, this deck is messed up. This deck is so good. We have a Wizard's Lightning. They're going to play the Tamio on turn one. If they flip it on turn two, it's already over. Oh my gosh. If this... If we were on the play, we'd have this. I still think I have to try to keep it and just hope they can't flip on turn one, but there, there's no way, right? Every Tamiyo player flips on turn one, every single one, every time. So it's a pre-con versus one of the most busted, busted decks in the game, right? What can you do? And again, we draw six drop. That six drop is never happening. Not in these games. It's just, it's a great card to have, but it's so out of place. Yep, they they transform. Never didn't have it. If we had double red, we'd be able to shoot this thing down. Love to hear stories from your home. Respect the library. So I guess we'll just try to develop and we'll probably fail miserably. I don't know if there's still that bug active that keeps this ability stacking so i guess i'll just try to clear it every turn uh-huh so at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase you may discard a card if you do seek a card with greater mana value and exile it uh-huh well don't think you're the thing and we get another creature that costs red that is not the thing either Ugh. This is so bad. This is so, so bad. I guess I shouldn't have used the ability? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to play. I'm just tilted. So, one thing I can promise you, don't play against Modern Horizons 3 Commanders with this... with at all, in general, in Brawl. If you're not playing, like, if you're not playing an Alchemy or a Modern Horizons Commander, you shouldn't play against them. <laughs> you're just gonna lose. It's a waste of time. Alright, Glarb again. So far, every Glarb deck I've played with these Precons has absolutely dumpstered me. Hasn't been close. It's been embarrassing. And some are greedier than others. This hand is not fast enough. This hand is so painfully slow. Like, I need a curve that starts on one. Okay, one, two, three. We're on the draw again? Jesus. Like, do we ever go first? Yeah, anyway, this is what I do. I complain. Because <laughs> magic is a tilting game, and it's how I cope. You don't like it. Lots of other channels. Some don't complain at all. They're very, very... They're basically run by AI. You too can get on the robot train. Okay. I This card is so bad, I think. They explore. They ramp ahead. They have another play. Feels like they do. There it is. I guess I'll play this two mana two two. <laughs> Seems so bad. Like I could try just holding up a counter spell, but then we're not getting ahead. We're not doing anything. But that's where like the problem with this deck really kicks into high gear. Because see how 
reactive our hand is, but how aggressive our posture has to be, we can't win the long game with this deck. It's impossible. So we have to play this short game, but then we just end up with counter spells stuck in our hand because we're not ahead enough. Okay, if they're gonna do that, I feel like we have a chance because they didn't interact with our board. Still, still, it's gonna be really hard. Get him. Get him. We need like two more of those. Down to nine. Now we use a counter spell to try to secure another turn. They didn't crack the tarn to trigger the weaver on their turn. I wonder why. But yeah, we try to buy another turn with a counter spell. Untap. Maybe we use accident prone for a trigger. And then we need one more spell off the top. Give ourselves a chance. We're not accident proning the Mythweaver. Let them have their land. Right now we have seven. If they crack the Tarn, we only have to do eight. I almost witnessed getting back Blood Chief's Thirst. Oh, nice. So now we know we're not drawing the right card. But they don't have... I I mean, unless they shock it in, they don't have the mana to cast the Blood Chiefs for Earth Thirst, so that's nice. Sure are running their rope, though. I mean, are they were willing to Lightning Bolt here to cast the Blood Chiefs Thirst when I could just... Well, I guess if they kill this. We know we're drawing the wrong card. Six. So yeah, they have to thirst this. Unless they have Fatal Push. Which would be pretty lucky. Uh-huh. Wow. Just wow. That's so depressing. Useless. Also useless, to be honest. But next turn we have this attacking, but it only does two. So we need hit, counter their removal spell, win the game. And we need all these cards to be irrelevant to the flying attack. Asking a way too much. Way too much. Maybe I should have played out the apprentice. I don't think it matters though. has reach and I had the wrong mana we can take away its ability so if we draw two damage we gotta draw two damage that's all but man you see I, I'm sure you see the problem with these counter spells they are so bad in this deck If they were a bounce spell or literally any burn spell in the format, I think we win. Fall more? I don't think that's enough. Pretty sure it comes up short. Mm hmm. God. Oh! Clunky deck building drives me crazy, dude. It drives me crazy, but I'm looking forward to the upgrade because this one, unlike 
Unlike the last one with goblins and Zada, this one should be a lot easier and a lot more powerful. I mean, four lands can't keep a four lander. Not with the way this deck is going to flood. Okay, we have another awkward hand, but we'll keep it. We kind of have a red source and we have turn one Delver into turn two Fairy Seer. If this doesn't flip, yep, they're, they're playing green, so they have Llanowar Elves. <laughs> Jesus, I hate this card. I love this card, actually, but I hate it in this deck. It's so bad. There we go. Hopefully they block. Darn. So Tamio, usually a take all the turns build. Might not have time here. We're going fast. So picture Lear here as a one mana instant. Pick any of them. Pick any one mana instant. Lear here, it is such a game over kind of play. I mean, this is amazing. We'll take that. It's pretty great. Down to 10. Lightning Bolt, one of the best cards in the deck for sure. They're gonna copy this to try to block. Uh, only one red source, it's so bad. Cool. Weird scoop, but okay. We'll take that. The power of lightning bolt compels you. Prismari command looking good there. I think the only time we've gotten to cast that. Creating a two card blowout. Yeah, there's definitely a huge disparity between your good spells and your bad spells, but, but at the core, at the absolute core, just any kind of pump spell or burn spell is better than half the cards that we're drawing and would absolutely secure victories. Okay, this is interesting. I will try it. Let's give the Ember Coiler another shot. Maybe I just misused it. I was definitely feeling a bit of tilt at the time. Kaza makes no sense in this deck, to be honest. It is a wizard with flying in haste. That's it. Everything else about it has been pretty bad, as there's just no cost reduction. So here's Kalein. I've seen a few Kalein decks. I don't think I plan to seek next turn. Let's just punch. I don't have any removal. This is a bounce effect. Don't know if or when that matters. This card is also pretty bad, to be honest. Fable and Mirror Breaker. And Strangle. Ow. Delver. Let's deploy some of these. Fable's a really good card for making sure that the draw is smooth. By the way, here's a card that could be in our deck, Strangle. Would be nice to actually kill some of these mana dorks before they create these snowball advantages. But yeah, what you want, two or three creatures, Adelies. And then you just play a few spells. They're going to hit us with Grave Expectations after not exchanging any of their hand. That's a bad sign. Counter Spells and Lightning Bolts are probably the best thing they can take. But honestly, they're using Grave Expectations to heist a Precon. We've got to be okay with that. Another removal spell. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, an attack I'm honestly getting... I'm getting bullied at this point by Fable. Fable on the play. Have we gone... Have we gone first in this video? I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to do some research. Doesn't feel like it at all. I think they have another removal spell. They kept their hand. They didn't remove this. I mean, we have to try. Murderous cut. Wow. Just wow. Once again, a tap land completely hoses us. The tap lands have to go. There's too many lands in general, and the tapped ones are... They're egregious for an aggressive deck. But it's very pre-con. It's exactly how wizards like to do things with pre-cons. Yep, and they stole my removal spell. I think that's enough. That was... A disgusting bullying. Oh. Oh, God. All right, no tap lands. Don't keep hands with tap lands. They're really bad. No tap lands and no more than three lands. And it would be nice if there were instants and creatures in the deck, in the hand, and it would be nice if they weren't counter spells. All right, maybe we get to close here on another Is It Showdown. Uh. I mean, that's kind of what we asked for, except this arcane signet's really bad. But, okay. It's just, just, you know, we're already a little flooded, but could be worse. Could be worse. Hello? I'm definitely not in a chatty mood. This, this deck has got too many problems, man. Would it kill him to give people, like, to sell people a good deck? I mean, I know that they want to leave, like, a ceiling so that you can feel like you're growing as a deck builder. But, God, between this and the Zada deck, I, I think they want them to play Magic for a year and never win a game. We've stolen some here and there. That's not fair, but I am rarely fair, okay? Great, they're going to play as slow as possible. screwed that's pretty good for us I like getting the hermit down you can counter their commander so they have to deal with it at some point now there's a land we can play that should be in this deck it's kind of insane that it's not to be honest hall maybe but definitely islet They want to give you 30 basics. They want to give you 40 lands. Okay, they bolt. Sure, whatever. Um... Can't be countered. Of course, <laughs> will we draw any spells this game? Unlikely. Orc of the Alpha is a fun card in decks that like let you completely empty your deck, right? But this is not that deck. This card is probably getting discarded. But we'll see. It's at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, so we get to draw a card first. I mean, they actually had a lot of cards there and all they ended up with are land, so that's not the worst thing that could have happened. Brainstorm. I mean, we could just discard zero, play Oracle, and then 
brainstorm and then play Oracle to shuffle. I guess I'm okay with my hand. Shore up is here. Don't want either of these to be honest, so this is going to be a fine shuffle. Deck shuffled. All right, if I draw a time walk, let's just say that's a real upgrade for a precon. They need a big turn, or they might lose to my preconness. Chandra, good one. But let's see what they do with it. Let's do this. Very powerful card, but they make mana? Today's my lucky day. Solve the equation? What if you die this turn? What if I hit Ancestral Recall off the Ember Coiler? I get River's Rebuke? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Against a hasty commander, I don't know if that's how you play this game. Big sorcery from the opponent here. Let's pitch. We get Soul Scar Mage, which. Haste, I guess. Or do we just try to kill him? If they tap out for River's Rebuke, and then we play Adelie's and go again, like, I mean, does the Chandra matter? Not really. Just give me a burn spell. <laughs> okay, power nine to the bottom, feels good. Down to one. If they tap out Rivers Rebuke me, Adelise kills him. Also, if they tap their eyelet, they die, so. Yep. You're going down. Is it not known for life gain? So often putting them on death's door is actually having them on death's door. land. Ouch. Bang. Snipe him. Easy. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Well, we did get some games. I, it wasn't an absolute uh, just, just like Zada, like we get some games, but there's definitely issues with this deck. Um, there's some things in the construction that are, I think, meant to give you a taste of different types of play that you could get involved in, but at the core are just so bad for the deck. I can't believe it. We went six and five. So we come out with a winning record by comparison. When we played the Zada precon, we went four and four and all. After we upgraded the Zada precon, we went seven and three. So we're going to try to improve on a six and five record when we upgrade our Adelie's the Cinder Wind precon, and we're going for a better than seven and three record as Zada had. So uh, come back for that in the future. Thank you for watching. You're cool.